Sandy Audiovisual is an authorized black magic design reseller. Hey folks, it's Colin Sandy again with Sandy Audiovisual, and today we're looking at the Black Magic Video Assist from Black Magic Design. It's a portable all-in-one professional monitoring and recording for any SDI or HDMI camera video little display recorder thingy. And we're gonna take a look at it. Uh as you know, I've been very much in love with the Atomo Samurai line. And, well, this thing is uh, supposed to compare to it. I, I'll probably do a comparison video at some point. Um, I'm not sure exactly what... I guess this would be uh, comparable to the uh, Samurai Blade. So let's open this up here. Take a look. All right, some shrink wrap uh, on the box here. It says uh, it's an SD recorder, so it's using um, actually a UHC, uh, so um, very uh, high speed SD card. It can do DNX HD and ProRes right out of the box. It has both HDMI and 6G SDI, and it does uh, I think up to 1080p60. Uh, and the speed of your SD card dictates the resolution you can record in. So the first thing we see when we open up here is a young lady behind a iMac with uh, DaVinci Resolve. And it uh, looks like we get a, a copy of DaVinci Resolve on an SD card and a software and a manual. Don't try to use these SD cards to record onto, unless you're doing 480i or something like that. I guess you can repurpose them for that, uh, but uh, no, you'd probably just want to store these somewhere or keep it in the very pretty packaging that it comes in. Right? Here we have the unit itself, and this is great. I mean, this thing is built solid. Oh, uh, that's a, look at that quarter twenty three quarter twenty mounts on the bottom and it looks like a USB mini not micro but the older USB mini connector I think that's for software updates oh you know is there one on the side too? okay no quarter twenties on the sides um, but top and bottom there's three of them and that's pretty cool uh, now I gotta admit I hate these DIN 1.0 slash 2.3 Four, five, six, A, B, C, D, F, G things, whatever. Um, the SDI in, in and out are on these um, these mini dens. Uh, not a big fan of them because you need cables. And so, Colin, do cables come with the unit? No, they do not. Um, it's a standard size. It's not a mini um, HDMI in and out port. It's a standard size. You can use a standard cable. But if you're using this with a DSLR, you'll need a mini HDMI to standard size HDMI cable in any event. Um, let's see what else I can quickly say before I get into more. There's the SD card slot right here. Um, power on button, uh, audio monitoring. Um, power slot here it takes 12 volts. And this you'll love. Okay. It is, let's see if I can get it out properly, little kickstand. Right. Got a little kickstand out there. Now, I have a box here of accessories. Because I knew that our lovely device here uh, did not come with cables. So, it does not come with an SD card. I'm here using a... 80 megabytes per second uh, sand disk. Uh, you can see it's a class 10, but it's also a uh, um, UHC device. Uh, sorry, UHS one. And uh, to do, do, do. can't remember what this went for, but 128 gigabytes. Um, this should be fast enough for. Um, 4K video, this is not a 4K device, so I'm imagining it can do 60p just fine. So, um, UHS, I think I said UHC before. Let's see. Um, doo -doo -doo. 
Wasabi Power because battery component here on the back it does not actually come with batteries either so um, here is a standard uh, knockoff LPE6 battery pack uh, this was I don't know maybe 25 bucks on Amazon or so So these batteries, the you know the Panasonic type, that you probably have a whole bunch of these lying around, and simple charger for it, you probably have those lying around too. But going back to what's actually in the kit, uh, you have your power, universal power supply here, your wall wart, with the um, plug here for the device, and of course the plugs. That's uh, like Australia, uh, United Kingdom, South America. Here we go. We're in North America, so we're going to use this uh, two prong ungrounded plug here. And just pop off, of course, the plastic bit. And there you have it, your wall wart. Um, so let's uh, power this up and take a little look. Well, maybe we'll get lucky and see if these things have any charge in them. It doesn't appear to have a preference as to which is loaded first. So, that's one battery. I flung the other one somewhere. Here it is. Second battery. And these just came out of the box. So, if this actually turns on... Uh, it'll be a small miracle. Oh, it turns on. Let's see. It seems like it has a decent amount of charge, too. All right. So, right now, you can see, we've got to focus on here. Take this off. Oh, I love how sharp these letters look. Um,. Right now it's an NTSC. Uh, it's telling me no cards in. It's in a ProRes codec. So let's change that to. Okay. Pretty cool. Ah. Uh -huh. Now oh, there's something. Um, remember there are some earlier Blackmagic design devices that wouldn't actually let you form, oh look at that, <laughs> isn't that golden, it'll actually flip, I really wasn't expecting that, I don't know why, I guess I didn't read that part, but, um, you can mount it either way and you don't have to worry about doing conniptions with your Israeli mount or your Zakuda mount, uh, it'll actually flip the screen for you. Hopefully there's a way to lock that in too, but uh, I guess we'll see that down the road. So let's put a card and see what it does. why they always have a baked cake in the oven. Alright. Let's see. This is when it goes in one way. Yes, it does. Just do a little click there. Alright. Nice big format card came up and we're going to go back to our traditional shaky videos for a second all right so you'll see that format card came up uh, it's going to format it by default an XFAT um, 
Give me 127.85 gigs. So format card, format to XFAT, format card, format to XFAT, format card. Alrighty, so that took what three presses. So you have to really not be paying attention to accidentally format your card on this. And again, I'm just uh, loving the screen. All right. Well, while that's going on, um, let's just say the um, cables, but a three footer might cost you, I don't know, 11, 12 bucks, uh, six footer, no, 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 one footer, maybe just around 10 bucks, a uh, six footer, I don't know, maybe $19 or so. Um, so, you know, factor that in the costs. These are mm, just over $400, which to me is incredible bargain even after going out having to buy the the batteries and the cabling for it uh, for what this can do and it can uh, record in both DNX HD and in ProRes and it uses fairly inexpensive SD media and it has you know lovely little um, well, that's very nice I got to change the date on there, but and the fact that it has, uh, you know, all these capabilities for essentially getting you a better picture on your DSLR or if you have a, a lower end camera or an older um, HD camera that you want to have a very good viewfinder on. Um, I think this fits the bill. Again, it's nice and solid. It's compact. Takes SD cards. Um, good amount of configuration in the in the menus. So we're going to play with this for a while and um, see you then.